Welcome everyone and today we are going to test out our Zotac 3060 Ti in Hive OS. The other day we tested out in Windows so I swapped over SSDs and now we're going to try the exact same settings and everything and see what kind of power consumptions and hash rates we get in Hive and see if we still come across that same bug. Now if you haven't seen that video go check it out. I will have a card right about now so you can go just click on that and it'll show you that video of, of Windows 10. But before we do this, I picked this up today. Here we got a 3060 Ti Gigabyte GeForce RTX. It is the OC3 Fan Edition. And look at that airflow right through there. So this thing should stay nice and cool. But I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, in the next video, we'll do a head-to-head -head competition between these two. See where their power consumptions are and their temps and whatnot. Although we can only see core on these, but doesn't matter but I just want you guys to know to find stock on these uh, 3060 TIs is when I picked this up I got it from a guy in Kijiji who actually didn't even want it <laughs> believe that or not but uh, he went into Memory Express to get some other stuff and they actually pretty much were trying to sell it to him so he picked it up tried it out and then posted it and I bought it from him and I did get this for MSRP so that was a sweet deal I picked this up for 630 Canadian so nice anyway um what he said was Memory Express, the employees there, they do not post their stock online. So they actually, to, to prevent all the bots and everything from buying it. So you do have to go in store when they get stock to see if they actually have it. So I found that quite interesting and um, I tried calling, but they would not answer their phones due to COVID. They're too busy. So their phone lines are offline, but yeah, go in store, see if they have stock. They had these in for about two days and no one was buying them because no one knew they were there so yeah check out your local memory express and you might have cards in stock boot it up in the hive here now i just want to explain how i do my tests initially so right now there's no card in my system some people want to know what i had anyway so let's take a look here so this is an asus strix b250h gaming motherboard uh, it was in my other rig which i sold most of my cards that's how i actually picked up these cards but yeah as for power consumption, that is my system because we're going to look at the power, what it uses. Now with no card, now because when you put a card in, all the power that it's going to get is coming from the card. That power was not there until the card was. Another thing to note, every time you do add an extra card uh, from your power supply, you will see a gain of maybe 2 to 3 watts, which I noticed based on all my numbers in previous videos. But yeah, let's take a look at our system idle here. So we were running 21, 22, well, 21.3, 21, all right, so 21.8739. Okay, I'm going to go with 22, and Windows, we were running 21.8, so it's fairly close. So 21.8 to 22 for these numbers. 22-watt system I'm going to put, and for Windows, we had 21.8, so... There's our system idle, guys. We are live in Hive right now. We're detected. You can see Zotac. No overclocks in currently. And our idle with the card is sitting around 48, 49.4. So we're going to go 49 just for like a middle. Middle ground of 49. And there we have it, 49. And Windows, we're actually 39. So... I'm going to put in our overclocks and see if that makes a difference or not. Okay, just for a note here, now point out, Mining Chamber did mention this before that, here I'll just show you what I mean, but you do have to update. I didn't do any updates, I just updated the stable version of Hive, but I did not do any NVIDIA driver updates. So as you can see right here, it detected one NVIDIA card, no cards available for OC, check BIOS settings, risers, connections, and PSU, try to update NVIDIA drivers. So. I just wanted to try this out for myself before we went ahead, just so I know 100% everything. But looks like we have to update our drivers, so we're going to do that and try this again. So we are all updated now. Drivers 455.45.01 is the latest driver. So that's in there. We're going to check out our idle now. So we're going to go with 60.9, 60.8. 60.4 so it looks like in the 60s so here we go 60.3 let it focus there so we are quite a bit higher now so that is interesting wonder what's going on there 
Now these are the latest drivers, not the most stable. So just so you know, so there's probably more tweaking that has to be gone. So yeah, anyway, we're at 60.3 now and I don't have any fan speeds in yet. So we got our fans at 75%, which is what we used in Windows. Got my light back on now, so let's see here. 62, what are we going to go with here, huh? 62.6? Sure. 62.6 we're going to roll with, so I better write this down. 62.6. So we got 62 with 75% fans. All right, so we'll get this thing mining and we'll see what we're doing. Before I put in my memory overclock, if you're used to Navi cards, the 5700s and whatnot, uh, you're used to putting in the memory as half. So like if Windows was 1800, you'd be putting in 900. Now with these uh, 3060s, you're gonna be doing the opposite. So if you wanted, like it says there, if you wanted 800 here, you should be putting in 16. So if it was, say, a 1,000 in Windows, you would need 2,000 in Hive. So you just double it instead of dividing it by two. Okay, guys, so here we are. Uh, 2,500 on the MEM, power limit 120, minus 500 on the core. Software saying 120. And I loaded this with the DAG file again, and as you can see, that's two incorrect shares already. So with overclocks, loading the DAG, we're seeing the same things we saw in Windows. And when I was on the gigabyte earlier when I first got it it didn't do this it actually loaded with it so it might be a Zotac thing but I am gonna load the stock load the DAG that way and go back like we did in Winzo Windows and see if we can actually fix this so as you can see 171 watts we loaded the DAG file from default now we're down to 120 look now we found a share so it is the exact same thing for some reason we are getting rejected shares with the Zotac card if you are running it, like if you're loading your DAG with the overclock settings. That's cool. I don't know what's going on there. Figure something out. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, with the Gigabyte card, I could load the DAG and start getting accepted shares like you normally would. But with the Zotac card, for some reason it's not. I'll look further into it when I actually do my head-on test between the Gigabyte and the Zotac. But yeah. Got some interesting results here, but we are mining now, so let's check out our power consumption. All right, so power consumption. We are running about 158, 157, 159. I did 158.6 for my actual number. Uh, it was steady at there with the odd jump, but still going to go with 158.6 because that's what I used. <laughs> so, yeah, 158.9 there. So let's take a look here. So 158.6, then we're gonna, sub, we're gonna subtract our 22 watts there, and that gives us a card of 136 watts at the card, which is, what did we get in Windows? It was a 136.6 or something. So overall, Hive and Windows 10 is using the exact same power when it comes to this card as well as software has given us the same readouts. It was 119.8 in Windows here, 119.7. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of tweak and see if I can drop that at all and see what we get. So we dropped the power limit from 120 to 115. We are getting shares. It is saying 114 watts in the software. There's another share found. Now, I don't know how stable this is actually gonna be. I'm probably better off leaving at 120, which is probably what I'm gonna do. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna do some quick numbers, see what it's looking like. So 151, 153, 152. Uh, I did 154.7, so I'm gonna go with that. 155 is what the peak's at. So 154.7. Whoa, focus, there you go. 154.7 minus 22 watts is 132 watts at 61.315 mega hash puts us at 0.464 efficiency and in windows we're doing 0.453 now we're pretty much windows and hive by the looks of things are exactly the same like i said i'm gonna run this at a power limit of 120 if i was in hive i still got testing to do but that's what it's looking like now i'm gonna dig deeper into this you're gonna see my head off between the gigabyte and the Zotac card probably tomorrow or the next day. I gotta do some testing between the two to see how they play out, but 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and some interesting stuff here more testing to do thanks for watching